Okay, my name is Sarah Ray. I'm 24 years old. Um, I am by trade a physio, so I have a Bachelor of Health Science and a Master of Physio. I've been working for two years in that field, um, but currently I'm actually taking some time off work, so I'm working part time and riding a bit more. So I've got a team of five horses that I'm trying to get going and keep going and see what happens there. Uh, last year I was actually still working full time and I planned to take two horses to Melbourne the three day in their first and my first three day two star. Um, unfortunately all didn't quite go to plan with my grey horse, we had a few issues with shoeing which meant that he missed a few runs. Um, so that was a bit of a shame in that we had a great season planned out and of course all didn't happen but that is a part of our sport and it's a part of sport in general. Uh, we got to the three day and we had two sound horses, which was great. Um, but I realized halfway around to my second horse of cross country that I wasn't fit enough um, and ac actually ended up tipping up the gray horse on the second last fence home. So after Melbourne, I sat down with my family and with a few of my friends and my coaches and we all just decided that two star and looking to go three stars a bit too big to be doing things uh, a bit half paced. So decided there and then to take the time out of work if I could afford to um, and actually focus a bit more on having not just the horses ready to go and fit enough but also having the time then for me to be ready and fit enough because getting up, going to work, coming home and working horses until 9 o'clock at night just didn't really leave a lot of time to do much else. So that was our plan leading into Adelaide and Adelaide was actually a fantastic event for us. Um, both horses pulled out great dressage tests which Unfortunately, the scores didn't reflect, but again, that's just a part of our sport. Um, both did awesome cross-country rounds and pulled up fantastically and finished show jumping off uh, quite well. So it was great to see that making such a big life change was worth it um, in the end and really looking forward to taking that on now into the 2015 season. So 2015 has actually started off fantastically already. I've been just notified that I've made the National Futures squad, which is a squad for under 25 riders. So it's my first year and my last year on it. So I have to make the most of that. Uh, but it's very exciting to be a part of a, a national squad and just really go and see how things are, are run at a national level. Uh, the plan for this year is for both of my two star horses to have their first three star start, uh, which is likely to be Wanden, uh, and then actually drop back down to two star and finish off the three day at Melbourne for the end of the season. I really want both of them to go top 10 uh, in the two star, and I think they can and they should if all goes to plan. Uh, so that's something that is our main focus. I've also bought two young mares who are half sisters that will come out one at the start of the season and one towards the end because I've got to work out fitting them on the float and the truck apparently. Uh, so we'll get those guys out and about and see how they go. I bought them really as something to sort of keep me ticking over while I'm not working as much but they actually both turned out to be really talented and I like them both so uh, it'll be really interesting to see how they go and it'll be nice to get back on some younger horses and have a real team coming through. Another thing that's been really exciting about the start of 2015 is that Equus Emporium uh, approached me about sponsorship. So we have been putting this together for the last couple of months. Uh, it's very exciting to see it start to get up off the ground. And myself and my team are really, really grateful for the opportunity to work with Ruth and Tristan and really see how far we can take this company. Uh, the range and the quality of products that Equus Emporium are bringing in from overseas are really top notch and affordable. So that is the main thing, particularly for most of us in the horse riding business can't afford to spend absolute top dollar on everything for all of our horses, but you still need the quality and you still need the long lasting durability. So that's something that Equus Emporium is really focused on. And also of course that everything is matching. So it looks really smart um, to have your team in good quality, clean gear that is matching and that you're able to actually use for a couple of seasons instead of having to change each season. Uh, so a part of the reason why I 
chose to go to uni and to have a degree was firstly around a really security for money and for an income. Uh, it turns out that I actually fell absolutely in love with physio from the first from the first moment. Um, so I'm very, very, very lucky that I am able to go to a job that I love. Um, and do something that's about other people. Riding, individual sports, but riding in particular can be so focused on just one person. Um, so it's really great to be able to spend my day doing things for other people that's helping them in their lives. But I also love my riding. So I would have to say the reason that I ride would honestly be the finish of cross country is coming home clear. It's just, it's such an adrenaline rush leaving the box and to come home, um, particularly on horses that you have taken through yourself um, and can really see just how far you guys have come together. It's just an amazing feeling. Keeps it going despite the hours of, hours of time, hundreds of thousands of dollars of money that you put in. Makes it all I do think it's really important to be able to take a step back and away from their, their love and their passion of riding and have a good think about if that doing that full time is going to be able to support their, their passion and their hobby or is it going to really just become about sitting on X amount of horses a day purely to make ends meet and still not be able to have a lot of savings to do other things outside of riding because at the end of the day if you, go, you know, thinking that you hopefully won't have something horrible happen but if you do have a big fall or if something happens in your life and you have to step away from horses you really need a backup plan because there's a lot longer that you need to be able to provide for yourself for you need to really be able to have a stable financial future so that for me is why I chose to have a career outside of horses and really have it that the career supported my my hobby and that I wouldn't have to be forced to sell my good horses just to make ends meet and just to be able to feed the rest of the animals or go away on a holiday, anything like that.